That's what we want. That's what we want right there. Hi, Kat here from Standing Stone Kennels, and we have Fox with us today. She is nine weeks old. We get a ton of questions on how to teach your puppy to sit, and that's what we're gonna be working on with Fox today, so make sure to follow along to watch that process. In her previous video, we were working on charging the clicker, and we've been working on that process here now for the last couple of training sessions, so it's time to teach her something new. Now, if you've been watching her videos, you saw in her last video that she started even sitting while we were trying to charge the clicker. So she's really comfortable sitting. And though we've not specifically worked on that behavior, she's probably gonna pick up on it pretty quickly. Um, if she doesn't, she's a puppy and we'll work through that. But I'm gonna set her down so that we can get started with that. We are actually gonna grab our clicker out and our little bit of dog food here. We're just using some dry kibble from her meal. And I'm just going to click and give her a couple treats. This is how we charge the clicker before to build that positive association between hearing that sound and knowing a reward is coming. And as you can see, I've got a lot of focus. She definitely has an understanding that that click means there's a reward coming. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the clicker to mark the behavior that we're looking for. What that means is as soon as she hears this sound, it will let her know that she's getting a reward, but what she did in that exact moment was correct. And that's what we're looking for. Instead of saying yes or good girl, this will sound the exact same every single time. So I'm just gonna be patient, try and help her get into a sitting position by keeping her attention up high. That's one little trick that can work. Taking a step into her, getting her to move her feet to reset her brain a little bit. Now, as you can tell too, I'm not just saying sit, sit, sit because she has no idea what that word means yet. It doesn't correlate to an actual behavior for her in her brain. So we need her to start exhibiting the behavior, marking that, and then once she's doing the behavior really consistently, we can actually ask for the behavior. So timing's really important. You saw as soon as that little butt hit the ground, I clicked and she heard that and then got the reward. Let's take a little step into her. Keep her attention up high. Not to jump necessarily, but sometimes when those puppies look up and then kind of have to step back, their butts hit the ground just like that. Good girl. So get her to move again because I'm trying to actually mark the behavior of her sitting, not just staying in that sitting position so that she can learn how to get in that position is what we're wanting. Try and get her to not jump up. So I don't wanna mark her jumping up even though she kind of sat back on those haunches a little bit. It was more in an effort to load, to jump at me than actually sit. So I didn't mark that, but I marked when she actually sat not to jump at me. Timing's pretty important when you're marking behaviors because as soon as she hears that click, it lets her know that that was what she did right and it also ends the behavior. So she doesn't have to keep sitting. So I don't want her to jump up on me necessarily for the rewards. We're gonna try and get a couple sits here in a row, build a little momentum. Fox. So not getting her to jump. And we're doing a lot of jumping. There we go, a couple in a row. Not jumping. There we go. So get her to move again so that she can actually Oh, so that was more of she was backing up on her haunches to load and jump at me, and I did mark it. It was not a, you know, an ideal situation, but it's not gonna hurt anything either, me marking that one time. So get her to move. And try and get her into that sit again without jumping. Good girl. Get her to move a little bit again. 
not jumping. So something too, so she's doing a little bit of jumping, not terrible. That's what we want. That's what we want right there. Let her think about it for a minute. Let her try and connect the dots of how has she been getting the treat? How has she been getting the reward? What has she been doing to get that? Let her think about it for a second. Because she wants another one. She's staying focused. That wasn't how we got it. Not by jumping. Box. So again, try and not reward the jumping, but reward the sitting so that she can start understanding that's how she's getting the reward. So I'm noticing that she's been doing a little bit of jumping. I'm going to see if I come down on her level a little bit more, if it's going to actually make the jumping worse, or if we can work through that so that it's more momentum built with the sitting. So everything's more down on her level. So she shouldn't hopefully feel the need to jump quite as much, but maybe she's gonna try and jump even more. So that didn't work. I'm gonna stand back up. Sometimes you have to try different things because every puppy responds just a little bit differently and needs a little bit different help to get into that position. Good. Good girl. We're making some progress here. Where she's, <laughs> you are making some progress. Try and get her to move a little bit more so that we're Working on that sit behavior. She's moving her feet a little bit, but she's still kind of just scooting her butt to stay in that sitting position. So we want to mark more of the sitting from a standing position here. She says, I'm thinking about it. That's not how we get the treats. So keep her attention back in here. I'm gonna try and get just a couple more sits here. Oh, we dropped our treat. Good find, good job. Now that she found one on the ground, she's looking a little bit more for one. So the click ends the behavior too, so she can get back up so that I can mark it again. So she is doing quite a bit of jumping. We're hopefully gonna be able to, in her next few sessions, build more consistency on the sitting behavior and start eliminating some of that jumping behavior. Good. So that was a good one where she didn't jump at me and we stayed sitting. So I'm going to call that a really good first clicker training session for sit. Um, I wasn't watching you guys very much. I was watching my puppy because in training that's really important because timing's really important. So when um, her butt hits the ground, I need to be paying attention so that I can mark that give her the reward so that she can start to connect the dots and we start seeing that sit behavior more frequently than some of the other behaviors like the jumping or sniffing around. So she did really good. We're going to keep working on that over the next few training sessions, but then we will be back with another video teaching Fox how to do something new like recalling to us or getting on her dog bed. So make sure to keep following along to check those out. 
Um, we'll probably do a little recap of how she's progressed with that sit behavior. Uh, a lot of people want to know, when do you start introducing the cue? Well, I don't want to use the cue sit when she really isn't exhibiting the behavior yet all that frequently because she's not knowing what that word means still. But once I start getting a much more consistent response with the clicker and the behavior, then I can start introducing the cue when she exhibits the behavior, then I can mark it. So um, when we come back with another video with her, we'll be able to show you her progress with working on sit and probably be able to use that cue with her. But if you're liking all of these videos and loving this um, puppy training series we're doing with Fox, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to us on YouTube so that you don't miss any more of her great videos, as well as like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. We really appreciate your support, as well as if you have your own puppy that you're working on and would like some one-on-one -on -one help with us, check us out on Patreon, as well as you always get early access to all of our new content if you're a Patreon member. And last but not least, we will be doing an awesome giveaway, our cool new hats here. We're gonna be giving away two hats, so make sure to share our video and comment on it um, on Facebook so that you can get entered into that opportunity for a giveaway. And make sure to check back with us for more great videos with Fox. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.